for Tyler Lockett, th- this was definitely a guy that if you just closed your eyes and you bet on talent, you bet on the 75.7% success rate versus man from 2021, 80% success rate versus zone. As you, yeah, right. 80.1%, 76.2% success rate versus press. Like, how would you not draft Tyler Lockett in every single draft? Downfield, the separation, the ability to go get that ball, the hands, the body control, the toe tapping, all that stuff. Like, go ahead and give me Tyler Lockett ahead of DK Metcalf downfield. RP has been on Lockett forever. I mean, he's just, he is a perfect, he's a perfect wide receiver, but he is a guy that just doesn't have holes in his game. Lockett is like, right. he's been that guy. He's been so consistent. He's been such a good player since he had that breakout season in 2018. I don't understand like what more he has to do to be considered um, a star wide receiver in this league. He doesn't seem to get that respect. I don't know why, because he's making great plays. Like I, I have talked about have that no, with no, I, I know, I know. I, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but yeah, like, <laughs> that's what drives me nuts about Lockett is like, I don't get it. What is what more does Tyler Lockett have to do to be considered a superstar receiver? Because the production's there, the numbers there, the reception perception data is there, the 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 stats are there, the film, all of it is there. And then he puts he's got fucking highlight real plays for days, bro. Like, 